what's up guys man i got some interesting stories i want to share with you guys that is trending on social media i got something coming in from david o right now which he hinted on social media and a lot of his fans are reacting to that i have something on monfire being granted bail and uh, apart from that something is sad about this uh, bail condition that is being given to monfire the Instagram socialite, uh, a lot of people understand that Monfa had a big issue with the EFCC after you know a lot of uh, battles with Bob Risky. Before I proceed right now, I want you guys to kindly subscribe if you are new here by clicking the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. But if already subscribed, Thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. US-based Nigerian rapper Young Seas drops a shocker about his colleagues earnings in nigeria or in naira and that is something you know actually disturbing uh some kind of persons on social media right now uh thank god because of um, uh, the platforms we have in the entertainment industry the musical industry especially i think uh, a lot of people are earning in dollars and other foreign currency according to what yonsi said he said while everyone else busy faking perfect celebrity lives let me keep it real with you guys every nigerian who made it any naira lost 40 percent of their net worth in the last two years 10 million naira was twenty-eight thousand dollars in 2019 now um 10 million naira is seventeen thousand four hundred dollars food for thought that is what this guy is actually sharing and a lot of people are getting all interested and all out for it i think uh right now based on the um the issue the value of naira going or plunging every day against the dollar and other foreign currency i think um you know other foreign currencies i think uh we have to actually invest more in uh, crypto in golds and in dollars that is something i believe about that right now as you speak hundred dollars uh, in nigeria is 56 thousand naira that is something actually disturbing and a lot of people are just getting all worried about it and it has affected the cost of living in this country and some people are calling on the government saying that man you guys are not doing enough you know uh, your policies are not working out fine for us i think the government a bit needs to actually invest in um some kind of sectors invest energies and then time to kind of stabilize uh, this whole thing and some people are saying that another contributor to this kind of thing is deficit of infrastructure in nigeria and uh, some persons will say nigeria is a consuming nation we don't produce at all and that is quite disturbing guys on the issue of uh, instagram socialite monfa you know it was granted 200 million naira bail by justice mojishola dada of ikeja special offenses court you know he granted uh this uh, dubai based um you know <laughs> internet celebrity ismaila mustafa aka monfa bail of 200 million naira with two shorties in the likes of the court granted his application for bail filed through his lawyer boyega Oyewole son. You know, Justice Dada ordered that one of two shorty one of the two shorties uh, must own property valued at hundred million naira within the jurisdiction. The court also ordered his remand in custody of a correctional center of his choice in Lagos, pending perfection of his bail conditions. While his international passport already submitted or submitted is to remain in custody of the court registrar the economic and financial crimes commission efcc had arranged mustafa uh on Monfa and his firm ismailov 
Global Investment Limited for alleged money laundering to the tune of over six billion naira. He is facing an eight count charge bordering on the offenses of money laundering. The EFCC also alleged that Monfa concealed his interest in expensive wristwatches and iPhone valued at 70 million naira. They are Rolex Oyster Perpetual wristwatch. Um, they have a uh, Old Mars Piguet wristwatch, Old Mars Piguet J, you know, a lot of uh, other things, and iPhone 8 with serial number so so. What over 70 million naira? Monfa pleaded not guilty to the eight counts charges while his m company Ismailov Limited, represented by Monfa, also pleaded not guilty to the first six counts. That is something uh, kind of uh, interesting right now. And right now, the information we are getting is that Monfa fails to meet big condition, choose to stay at Ikoyi Correctional Center. Right now, Monfa is in jail. And some people are calling on Bobrisky to be excited because uh, Monfad came out to say he's going to sue Bobrisky to the tune of a billionaire. And uh, why coming down to Nigeria from Dubai, he said that he's going to make a lot of money in Nigeria. And right now, Monfad is in the net of EFCC. Why did he come to Nigeria in the first place? That is what a lot of people are now asking at this point in time i think it's quite uh you know interesting for a lot of people to understand that man you know the efcc is getting it serious for monfa at this point in time and that is quite um you know uh disturbing and this guy is going to jail because meeting somebody that is going to meet uh, this uh <laughs> bail condition is is going to be tough um you know the very strong terms the applicant is granted bail in the sum of 200 million naira with two shorties in likes on one of the shorties must have you know property at 100 million naira this is you know outrageous you know uh some persons are already saying that most politicians looting this economy dry looting this polity or this uh, nation dry they don't give them this kind of bail condition. Why is Monfa's case, you know, serious and different? Is it that because he's not a politician? That is what a lot of people are now uh, talking about at this point in time. And this guy is not going to find it easy because it is a political year. Some people are having the suspicion that, yes, being a political year, a lot of people are just kind of um, you know political funnel or money funnel for some politicians or perceived opponents let's talk about music right now davido has hinted that new music is going to drop from his camp on friday and we all are expecting this from davido according to what he tweeted he said new music on friday that is something we are expecting from davido and a lot of people are saying that man is it that davido is going to drop a song with um you know some people in that collabo or is going to drop a personal single that is what some persons are now saying because davido have been seen to work with the likes of uh, you know um that is drake the likes of wandeko the likes of olamide which one is he going to drop and that should be a kind of great content like the champion sound which we all are enjoying at this point in time before i jump off i want to use this time out to still appreciate you guys for taking our time watching my videos sharing my videos across social media pla uh, platforms and i'm using this opportunity especially to appreciate my Ghanaian fans i love you guys for the support which you guys are giving to me so far what is your own take about my story so far? Put that in the comment section so that we can get to understand it better.